Have you been looking at getting an SWR watt meter for your shack? If so, I've got just the one to show you right after this. Hey, it's Craig, WJ6F. If you could do me a favor and click like, it'd help me out a lot. And while you're at it, click subscribe and the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. This is the MFJ828 digital SWR watt meter. Okay, on the back you have the 12 volt power, a serial port for updating the firmware. You have the two RCA jacks for controlling your an amplifier's control output and relay control input, ground, and SO239 for the antenna and the radio. The RF power range will go all the way up to 1500 watts and you can set it for four different settings. Automatic, 25, 250, or 1500 watts. It has continuous coverage of 1.8 to 54 megahertz. This is a cross needle design. So the needle coming up this way will do your forward power. The needle going to the right does your reflected. And where they cross is where you'd read your SWR. There are instructions in the manual for calibrating the meter and adjusting the contrast. Contrast adjustment on the LCD is here. And then these two screws on the bottom are for adjusting the needles. The mode button gets you into the memory. Just press and hold. You can turn the beep on or off. The meter range, I have it set to auto. The alarm for the SWR goes from 1.5 all the way up to three. You adjust that with these two buttons. The peak button allows you to do peak or average. Right now I have it set to average. Just push it once. Now it will hold for one second, two seconds, three seconds, and back to uh, auto. Now the alarm button, when you push it, two beeps is off, one is on. And how you saw in the menu, I have my SW alarm set for two. If it gets higher, the buzzer will sound and this light will come on. And then the last button, obviously, power. With regard to the LCD screen, this will show you the frequency you're on, your SWR, your reflected power, and your forward power. And that can actually be changed to use either bar graphs, which is where these scales would come in, showing your power and your SWR. The first press will show you the bar graph with re forward power on the top and reflected power on the bottom. Another press just shows SWR through a thick bar. And then with the third press, you'll see everything is a bar. Okay, I've got this hooked up to the IC7300 and a dummy load. I'll go ahead and key it up and show you how the LCD looks and the meters. Set at 100 watts. See, I've got forward of 103. The frequency is set to 14.230. The reflected, 0.8, and my SWR is 1.19, right about where the needles are meeting. Now, if I want to hold that for a while and see what it is, press that and it'll hold for one second. For two seconds and then for three seconds. Now for the different bars, this shows forward and reflected power. Got your forward power on the top, corresponds with the scale down here, and your reflected power, 1.19 showing down here, which is gauged by the top row. Here again, we have the SWR. And then for all three, you have your SWR, your forward power, and your reflected power. And that's all there is to the MFJ828. Yeah, you know, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and don't forget to click on that bell so that you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching, and while you're here, why don't you check out one of these other videos?